Everyone has a somewhat different concept of what constitutes the ideal ski vacation, and we're not going to pretend that this list resolves all those disputes. In fact, it's more likely to start new ones. We've spent hours debating this very topic. After all, while boundless terrain, incredible backcountry, and brilliant slope-side restaurants help resorts rank higher, the finest resorts go above and above in various ways, so determining which ones made the cut took a lot of work. But before we begin, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on my next uploads. Now, let's get into it. Starting off the list at number 10 is Obergurgel Hot Gurgel, Austria. It is nearly hard to narrow down the greatest ski resorts in the world to a manageable list, as evidenced by the fact that only one of Austria's outstanding resorts made it to our list. However, we would claim that Obergurgel Hot Gurgel is a very good candidate if you were to pick just one ski resort to capture the essence of the Austrian Alps. This twin resort skiing destination offers everything from cruisy blues and relaxed tree runs to difficult and high alpine off-piste terrain. It is situated at an altitude where the slopes are certain to be snow-covered. A vast network of cross-country routes is available, and the two towns, together with the numerous mountain huts separating them, offer a plethora of chances for the schnapps fueled après ski festivities that Austria is renowned for. Next at number 9 is Murren, Switzerland. Murren has to be a strong competitor for the title of the world's greatest ski resort in what is, by definition, a crowded field. To 4,000 meter peaks, the Monk and the Jungfrau, as well as the intimidating shape of the Eiger, one of the most well-known mountains in the world, can be seen from the resort's core. At the center of the Swiss Alps Jungfrauerlech UNESCO World Heritage Site lies this triple threat of awesomeness that only comes with being at a high altitude, the train that leads to the Jungfraujoch, Europe's highest station at 3,454 meters is an incredible marvel of alpine engineering and one of the resort's most Instagram-worthy locations. Next in line at number 8 is Morzine, France. About Morzine, is there anything to say that hasn't been said a million times already? One of the most well-known ski resorts in France, especially among British visitors, it offers affordable rates, together with one of the largest ski areas worldwide. In other words, the Pot du Soleil has something to offer everyone. With 650 kilometers of lift link pistes across the French-Swiss border, this destination appeals to enthusiasts of high alpine skiing as well as blue run cruising. Freestyle skiers and snowboarders will find no shortage of snow pocks, while off-piste enthusiasts will salivate over the abundance of easily accessible backcountry terrain available, more than they could ever explore in a lifetime. Coming in at number 7 is Madonna di Campiglio, Italy. This is the best you can get if you're looking for the ideal Italian alpine experience. First, let's talk about the mountains. The Dolomites are renowned for their breathtaking beauty, but the Dolomiti di Brenta, or the peaks surrounding Madonna, are especially lovely. Red angular rock spires surrounded by dark green pine trees and topped with dazzling white snow. With more than 150 kilometers of designated piste, the ski area is sizable, ranking fifth in all of Italy. One of the greatest terrain parks in the nation, if not all of Europe, is the Ursus Snow Park, located at the top of the Grost Lift. Next at number 6 is Kicking Horse, Canada. If Madonna di Campiglio is the classic Italian mountain resort, Kicking Horse is the epitome of Canadian skiing. Kicking Horse has made some great advancements in sustainability. Several of its ultra-modern prime of pissed bashers, which surpass stage 5 emission regulations, are now part of the grooming fleet. Then there is the terrain itself, which has 1,416 hectares of skiable land with 121 routes, 85 defined corridors, 5 lifts, and 4,314 feet of vertical drop. There is lots of variation in the terrain, which is spread out among five bowls that were previously only reachable by helicopter. Let's continue with number 5, Harkuba, Japan. The greatest place to savor Japo, the light fluffy delicacy baked by Japan's special weather systems over the sea, is definitely the northernmost island in the nation. Nevertheless, further south, there's still enough of the white stuff to be found. The scenery alone would make a trip here worthwhile, but the Japanese Alps also have the benefit of drawing fewer international visitors due to their lesser-known status. In Hakuba, it's, therefore, simpler to take part in a truly Japanese cultural experience, which, let's face it, is the main reason most people travel to Japan for skiing in the first place. Next at number 4 is Chamonix Mont Blanc, France. Although it may sound cliché to include Chamonix, this storied resort is unquestionably deserving of a place on this list. 
Of course, certain resorts are getting more attention than others this year. However, it's difficult to argue against Sham, which is well known for its varied topography, consistent snowfall, sizable ski area, and breathtaking vistas of Europe's highest mountains, including Mont Blanc. This area is known for its high altitude topography, but it's also home to some of Europe's greatest tree runs, complete with smooth side hits. Though Chamonix is primarily known for being a destination for professional skiers, the terrain of the resort's five main ski areas will really provide you with your ideal terrain, no matter your skill level. Coming in at number three on the list is Servinia, Italy. Through the ski slopes, Servinia has long been connected to its neighbor, Zermatt, one of Switzerland's top ski resorts. However, there's now an even more compelling incentive to go to this amazing Italian ski resort. When the brand new, fast Matterhorn Alpine crossing opens in July 2023, you'll be able to travel between resorts and reach heights of 4,000 meters without ever having to step foot on the pists. Both skiers and non-skiers will benefit from the increased link, which makes traveling between the two much quicker. Next at number two on the list is Aspen Snowmass, Colorado, USA. As the winter season draws near, Aspen is always ready with a flurry of activity. But for intermediate and expert skiers who have been coming to Aspen for decades, there will still be enough challenging terrain. The resort, which is split into four sections, is situated 2,422 meters above sea level, with 2,146 hectares and 509 kilometers of pist. While intermediate and experienced skiers are better suited for the slopes above Aspen Town, beginners tend to focus on snow mass. A less frequently groomed option for daredevils seeking the ultimate adrenaline dose is Aspen Highlands, where skiers aiming for the renowned Highland Bowl may board a snow cat. Not only is the wilderness terrain excellent, but there are vistas of Maroon Peak, one of Colorado's numerous 14ers, which makes the effort worthwhile. Before we go to the top of this list, be sure to like this video. If you want to know more about traveling, I have more videos about it that you can check on the channel. While you're at it, please subscribe. Don't be shy to click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. And now, the number one on the list is Andermatt, Switzerland. Once a tranquil alpine community, Andermatt has long been a favorite among skiers and snowboarders because of its fantastic hoppist riding, exceptional snow record, and difficult terrain. But Vale Resorts has owned Andermatt since 2022, and given its large financial resources, significant investments as well as adjustments are anticipated. Vale Resorts has committed to investing £95 million in enhancing the infrastructure of the ski area. Additionally, the business has set aside an additional £30 three million pounds for real estate developments inside the town. Because of the new ownership, it is now part of Vale Resorts' Epic Pass program, so if you plan to visit other Vale Resorts this winter, you can expect to save a lot of money. Not to mention, the terrain itself is simply of the highest caliber, which has traditionally distinguished Andermatt as one of Switzerland's top ski resorts. 180 kilometers of slopes, 33 lifts, and many 3,000 meter high mountains all present. There's always enough from here, mostly because of the 2019 gondola that connected Andermatt's ski area with neighboring Cedron. There you go, those are the 10 best ski resorts in the world. Don't hesitate to include these things in your itinerary for the best holiday experience. Again, please like this video and hit the subscribe button. How about you? What's your favorite ski resort? Please share it with us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.